What up, Horror Squad, and welcome to my 950,000 subscriber celebration where I'll be opening this. A first edition Chinese base set booster box with, of course, a chance to pull that Charizard card that, if in perfect condition, goes for over $25,000. But I'm doing this video in support of not only celebrating 950,000 subscribers, part of this community, but in support of mental health awareness. I know things right now are very bleak and very negative in the world. But I have to say, we are all in this fight together. Please stay positive. And if you ever are in need of support, contact the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and especially your friends. We are all here for you, and I thank you for the support. So, today's opening is this. And it, yes, it does look different because it is in a different language. It is in... Chinese and it has a red Pokemon logo on it and of course it is first edition. I will quickly show you the sides of said box. Obviously I cannot read Chinese but I know we do have a lot of fans that are in the heart squad in this community that are in China. We do know this iconic side and of course the bottom of the box just has one little a display where it just says that it's all in English minus I guess the bottom technically down there but usually it would be in like different you know countries uh, but for this specific box it is worth between 15 to 20 thousand dollars those were the offers that I have been getting for it now before we get into the box if you're familiar with my community we have pulled the first edition Charizard holographic in several languages, beginning with in Espanol or Spanish, perhaps. It's Charizard! We've also pulled it in German. Water. <laughs> and last but not least, we have pulled it, even though the card is still currently missing, in English. No way. But today, I want to continue the fight to pull it in Chinese. And yes, if it comes back in perfect PSA 10, will be worth over $25,000. There are currently no Beckett 10s on the market. And as we get into it, I will explain more about all of the population reports for the holographics in this set, but sealed collectors, please, Look away right now as we, at least at the letter opener, please do your job. Okay, good. Phew. But this is, uh, this is fun because if we're going to be doing a box opening, and this box opening, guys, is from my personal collection, and I am doing the ultimate risk right now in opening this in hopes of not only pulling the Charizard and Blastoise and Venusaur, but that they come back in perfect shape. Here we go. All the packs are all move around and stuff. Oh, that's going to look nice. It's going to look nice. There we go. Nicely folded. Let me show you the packs. Here are the three pack arts and you'll immediately notice they are in, you know, the red iconic, well, the non iconic logo, but there's the first edition stamp as opposed to down here on regular English packs. And there's the Charizard one. And of course, the Blastoise one for the Leonhardt question of the day. Please let me know your favorite pack art as well as if you like the Pokemon logo in yellow or red in the comment section below. Last but not least, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are on the hashtag road to a million. We're at 1 million subscribers. I'll be opening up more heavy first edition English base set packs and lots more surprises. And finally, if we can get this video to 20,000 likes, I'd appreciate the support, Heart Squad. But what I will be doing as these were just kind of willy nilly all over the place, they're kind of like not even even. That's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the packs out of the box and put this in the corner over there because we do gotta get moving. What I'll be doing, yeah, look, are these even? I don't even know. All right, we're gonna count how many packs there are because we're gonna do uh, probably 18 packs. Sorry, I am so nervous right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that goes over there. This half will be for tomorrow's video because if we're opening up something this rare, we have to take our time. Now the thing is guys, and why this is gonna be so difficult to get it in perfect shape, is that the holographics are on this side. They are different. The card trick is going to be different as we get into this first, first edition Chinese pack. This should be the backs of the cards right here. Okay, on cue. Now the holographic is going to be right here at the front. So what I'm going to do is try to not show it. Oh my gosh. And that should be the hollow. Now there is going to be energies for this. Oh, it's upside down. Oh my gosh. I, I think I may have put the card wrong side wrong, but here we go. I hope you enjoy this celebration video of an entire first edition Chinese. Why is that? Okay, guys, that was interesting. Cards are upside down, I swear. <laughs> Gotta love the packing, huh? All right, Professor Oak. Oh my gosh, this is so incredible to see it just in not only a box that is over 20 years old, but just the fact that it's in a different language as well. And it's just so awesome to be doing something like this. I'm so grateful to have hit 950,000 subscribers, everybody. I thank y'all so much for the support, for being part of this channel. I do have sleeves, which we will be using if we pull a hollow switch. Is this the first rare? No, but this could be Oh, no way. Hey, okay, okay. So there it is. All of that for a first edition Doug Trio. I will be putting the rares as we take a look, which could be a foreshadowing to the Charizard. This is a little off center from right to left, but otherwise no scratches, no whitening. And that is incredibly important as well for getting it graded. Moving on straight to the next pack. This was the half I was supposed to open, right? Okay, good. Let's get into this Venusaur pack. And uh, as far as population goes, there are so few holographics that are graded in nines and tens, especially 10. What am I doing there? I need to be careful. There we go. That one, we need to be careful right now. So it looks like it's just gonna be upside down for these front energy cards. And then the rest are, so, oh man. I may have to just go ahead and sleeve up those <laughs> or just, you know, turn it around immediately. Kadabra, but uh, there's lots of the populations of the cards. Like there are no PSA 10s in several of the holographic cards that we will hopefully be pulling today. Of course, we do want to get a Blastoise. Blastoise, PSA 10 is worth over $10,000. Venusaur is worth just under that, maybe right around it as well. The sales for these cards have been from a long time ago and the offers for any of them have been very high. Here we go, Poliwag. Oh, Pidgey and... And Venusaur right off the bat! How about that? But unfortunately, the centering on it is pretty bad from left to right, but nonetheless, centering, yeah, look at that centering unfortunate on there. I can only hope that the Charizard, if there is one, isn't as bad centering as this. Uh, but that is still lovely. I got my Squirtle sleeves. I will be getting these holographics likely graded for my Guess That Grade series that I do on my channel. But uh, so there we go. Uh, one of the big three has been hit. There is a chance at repeats. So perhaps we can get another Venusaur repeat i'm just gonna go ahead as you flip like this or or like this all right so the energies are gonna be for sake of just not moving it around too many times will be upside down at the beginning so we can get straight into getting into more packs double colorless energy tangula swirl thingy drowsy machop caterpie and the rare is that all right so I said like removal or something, but it's a trainer. So to get things moving, we will get right into the next pack. I was very happy to see with that Venusaur, there were no scratches, no print lines, no whitening on all of the sides. So that was one good thing. Let's see, is it, all right, we'll just go like this. And the beginning 
begins now. All right, so I know I'm not doing, look, it says 3D for the Porygon. I'm not doing the guess the energy, I'm sorry. We can do it or you can do it at home if you'd like. But I just want to, as a beautiful squirt, I may get, I may get the Squirtles, uh, Bulbasaur's and Charmander's graded as well. Uh, star you, the, is it, it is Zapdos holographic! Oh no, the centering on this one is a little bit, oh, it's bad from left to right once again. There may be a little bit whitening at the top right, sometimes you can get that out. But still, a Zapdos holographic card has been pulled. And that is a very nice card. When I was growing up, that was probably not the Charizard. The Zapdos was my favorite holographic growing up. So very happy about that pull. Centering looks, I believe, looks better on this one. So let's uh, maybe just a little. Here we go. Celio, what's the dealio? Pokedex. War Turtle, Weedle, Voltorb, Abra, Doe Duo, Vulpix, and a okay, I see ya, Pidgeotto, non holographic. And centering is off on this card, but it's not as bad as some of the other hollows that we've pulled. So, very nice still to get. I oh, I, I realized I didn't sleeve the trainer rare card, but that's okay. That's still a very nice looking card there. So next up, and just so I can say once again, thank y'all so much for 950,000 subscribers. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It's gonna be a lot of fun once we hit one million. Well, it has been a lot of fun. Uh, this whole hashtag road to a million that we've been on, we have been doing the absolute craziest and rarest openings ever. And I just keep on wanting to just one up myself. But let's see if we can get a Blastoise or of course, the Charizard, Bulbasaur, Potion, Drowsy, Nidoran, Pidgey, and a... Oh, there we go, so a trainer card, item finder as I believe is what this card is called. So we'll put that over here and get things moving with the next pack. And what's it called? We've been doing, oh, I will be doing, just so y'all know, I had to originally move it because of the current situation going on in the world. My big charity event uh, for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. We did one, we've been doing one with my friend Nick. Nick, how you doing? Everybody knows who Nick is, he's awesome. Uh, he's, he's not able to fly in because the borders are closed right now. So once things are a bit better or much better, hopefully sooner than later, he will be able to come and we're gonna be still doing our big charity event sooner than later. Magnemite, Doe Duo, Star you, Onyx, and <clears throat> non holographic B drill. Check the centering on this one. Centering is a bit off as well, however, not as bad, at, which gives me faith because that is what I am trying to do is just keep on keeping the faith with these cards. As far as the centering goes, I don't see any print lines or anything like that. So, oh man, the centering is bad on this one. <laughs> Watch it be the Charizard. <laughs> All right, here we go. Psychic Energy, Leaf Energy, Ivysaur, um, Trainer Card, uh, Super Energy Removal, I think is what that one was called. Rattata, Switch, Caterpie, Nidoran, and... Mewtwo Holographic, and it does have a swirl at the top left. There it is. There is a swirl, so that is a very, very nice thing, I will say. Cons all things aside, that the centering is absolutely abysmal on this card. Like, absolutely terrible centering, which may be even good for people out there that really, really love uh, off-center card. So moving on and yes, I do have my same fine attire that I wore for when we did pull the missing first edition Charizard. Guys, the centering on this one looks really nice. Okay, I'm gonna put my Leonhardt call of the day. Guessing Charizard, this is the pack or at least one can dream and hope because I really want it to be this card that's better. This is a sign! Charmeleon! Star you, Tangula, Super Energy Removal, Drowsy, 
Machop fail. And a computer search. It would be a computer search that has good centering on it, but that does still leave me very happy because maybe the centering is much better now. Well, we can hope, so. All right, let's get into this next pack, Venusaur. And it's very, it's just very cool to be opening up packs from, you know, from a different country as we get into this pack. It's just very, you know, just to see how the illustrations and the artwork are different shades of the colors that are on there, you know? Ponyta, Diglett, Machop. There's another Squirtle card. Rattata, and... Charizard has been pulled already! Oh my gosh, but unfortunately, the centering is pretty off on the, the card, but still, we have now, we can now say that we pulled a first edition Charizard in Chinese to go along with the other ones. I am still absolutely going to get this graded because it is very personal to me. But uh, there we go. A first edition Charizard has been pulled. Wow. It's always, it's always such a treat to just be able to open up packs like this and pull the best holographic. So, on that note, I will show you the pulls. So far, no repeats. We have two of the big three, hoping we can do the impossible and pull a repeat Charizard or Venusaur, and of course, still get a Blastoise. Lots of packs to go in today's opening. So let us continue with some very nice energies. Machoke, Super Potion, Charmander, Coughing, Vulpix, Tangula, and a last non-holographic trainer card. This is one of the most highly sought after trainer cards, at least in English for, uh, for non-holo. So I'll take that one. I'll absolutely take it. All right. Next up with this first edition base set box opening. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying it so far. Very interesting to see the energies upside down like that. But hey, Magmar, Sandy, Weedle, Voltorb, Abra, Doduo, and there it is! Blastoise has been pulled. All three have now been pulled. Centering is off, unfortunately, for this one. But still, this is the risk that I take when opening up these older packs. I can't believe it. We just pulled the big three in the very, very first video. That's incredible still. I can't believe it. And we still have lots of packs to go for today's opening. And then tomorrow's the second half of the box where we may just pull another Charizard, Blastoise, or Venusaur. All right. Guys, if you can, please do leave a like on the video. Let's try to get to 20,000 likes. Hopefully you have been enjoying this 950,000 subscriber celebration. Ghastly, Potion, Squirtle and another. So is this our first repeat would be a trainer card, but that is okay. We have pulled all three of the big three. The centering looks not too shabby on this one. So let's hope and get something good from this pack. Raticate, Maintenance, Ratata, Diglett. Wow, is this our first Pikachu? I may need to get this one sleeved up, so I'm gonna put this one right over here. Metapod, Kafifi, Devolution Spray is the non-holographic trainer. Here's the Pikachu. It actually has very nice centering on it, yellow cheeks, so I will put that in a Squirtle Squad sleeve and put that in the non-holographic pile. So we have, as I hit the side of the table, four packs remaining of the first half of this first edition Chinese booster box. I hope you all have been enjoying it. Thanks again for 950,000 subscribers. We probably hit it a few days ago, but I'm recording this ahead of time, so 
Leaf Energy, Lightning, War Turtle, Haunter, Growlithe, Vulpix, Voltorb, Star You, Star Me, and Ponyt. I thought that was the Charizard again. Oh, is that a. I forget his name. It's not Pokemon Breeder, but it's the other guy. Very nice snazzy suit you got there. So, all right. Is that Pokemon Trader? Maybe? Maybe? He, he's a trader, like stocks. Very important stuff. Here we go. And three packs remaining. Hopefully, we can get some fire. I say Kakuna, you say Matata. Professor Oak, Weedle, Poliwag. There's a Bulbasaur, Pidgey, and a Ninetales Holographic. Okay, a little bit off-center for this one. Yeah, it's still pretty off-center for these holographic ones. Unfortunately, but still, it is still no repeats for these cards. Very nice to see that, but I'm kind of at this point now hoping for a repeat because that would be incredible to get another one of the big three. But you heard it here. Big three has been pulled in this first half. Another Pikachu, very nice. Tangula, Machop, and a repeat Pidgeotto. But I love the whole Pidgey and everything line. So here we go. We are on to the final pack. Now, I will say it. I am very disappointed that the cards are really, really off center. So that will be a major factor when grading the cards. But that being said, this was a big risk that I wanted to take, especially with us hitting 950,000 subscribers. And it's not always about the money, it's about having fun. And hopefully as a community, we are just having the best of times because this is gonna keep on getting crazier and crazier as we get close to 1 million subscribers, part of this community. All right, let's get some last centering looks good on this one, but it's probably going to be a trainer. Energy. Energy. Arcanine. A plus power. Trainer. Squirtle. Looks actually like in really nice uh, condition. Hunita. Onyx. And here it is. A Pokemon Breeder, non-holographic, but a Heart Squad part two of this opening tomorrow. In the meantime, you want more openings? Click on those videos right now. My name is Lean Hart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.